Yeah. Looks like I timed that just about right. Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, not great. It feels sick and I'm shivering. I think it might be cold turkey. I wasn't trying to start another row. In fact, I spoke to Todd and... Although I'm not over the moon about you and Aaron getting stoned, never mind the bishop, um, he's made me see that I'm, I was maybe overreacting a bit, so I'm sorry. Me too. And if it helps, it was just out of curiosity more than anything. Won't be trying it again in a hurry. Good. Oh, um, when I was out, I remember you got this hospital appointment later. Yeah, why? Well, I've, I've now got a meeting, so I won't be able to come with you. Oh, well, I'll be OK on my own. I just fit in an insulin pump. It's not a major operation. But I, I just well, I thought, you know, after what happened the last time... Are you doing it again? Doing what? Suffocating me. I made a mistake. I got mixed up. I'll be OK. I know. I trust you. Just saying. Maybe you'd like a bit of company. Maybe give Evan a ring. Well, I could do, but I didn't think he was your favourite person right now. Mm. Very good at forgiveness. All right, well, I'll give him a call, see if he's free. Right, I'm going to get ready for this meeting. Uh, Billy. Thanks. Look at this. All the members of staff uh, report he shows a much improved attitude and some exemplary behaviour. Exemplary? It's good, isn't it? God, it's brilliant. Mm. Oh, come here, you. Whoa, what's going on? Well, we just had your report from the Peru. And... Well, read it for yourself. No, no, things haven't been easy for you lately, and you've made a few, how can I put this, cock-ups along the way, but this proves you can change all that and that you are doing, so I'm proud of you. Yeah, me too. Mm. I thought you'd be happier about it than that. Yeah, man, no, I am happy. It's just, you know, <sighs> other things. Look, if you're worried about them couple of Muppets who were giving you an hard time, I told you, I can go into the school, I can speak to them, I can get it nipped in the book. Yeah, and I told you, it's fine. Just oh, leave right, it, right, OK? Fine, if you say so. Why don't you get yourself some breakfast and I'll give you a lift in? I mean, Joel, that's OK. I mean, just bung as a fiver, you know, oh, that all cover cost at petrol. You're such a loser. Hey, I need to make ends meet. Mm. He's gonna be fine. Yeah, I know. Sorry I'm late. I was walking Gran and Stu to the tram station. Managed to convince them to take the day off then? Just about. Practically had to twist Gran's arm behind the back, though. <laughs> nice one, anyway. I mean, I know this has been hard on Stu, but it's not been easy on her either. You can say that again. This place going downhill isn't helping much either. Yeah, things will pick up eventually. People forget. Move on. I hope you're right. I really do. Because if things carry on like this, we'll all be looking for a different job. Everything all right? Just Matt. <laughs> Shall it's free? Yeah, I'll get one in a bit. You're not working today? No, one of the drivers wanted to swap, so I got the day off. Ah, oh, nice. Got anything special planned? No, I'm just gonna dust here for a bit, and I thought I might nip over the road for a cheeky pint. Join me later if you want. What, in the Rovers for a pint? Yeah, you can have all you want. I might even treat you. Really? Mm hmm Nothing's too good for my beautiful wife. Well, at least you've remembered I am your wife. Are you feeling all right? I was. Well, sit down. I'll let you a cup of tea. It sounds like you need one. I was only joking. Sal! 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 Sal, hey! 
Oh, oh, Tim, I'd put some trousers on if I were you. Yes, or, or put Mr Mouse back in his house. Well, that's not something you expect to see every day, is it? It's not something I want to see, Mary. Thank you very much. It's lucky there wasn't any hungry birds flying overhead. We'd have to have good eyesight, though. Oh, oh Fizz, you are awful. But I like it. <laughs> oh. I hope you don't mind me calling like this. I just wanted to clear the air after what happened yesterday. Of course, of course, but please sit down. Sir. Um, before you say anything else, uh, if I said anything to offend you, it wasn't my intention and I'm terribly sorry. You didn't offend me. If anything, I, I was flattered. It was just a, a surprise, I suppose, to, to hear that you had feelings for me. Well, to be honest, it was a surprise for me, too. It, it wasn't something I was looking for or, or ever expected to happen again. And what are you looking for? Uh, a connection, I guess. Um, someone to spend time with, share things with. Maybe I got a bit carried away and read too much into things. You didn't. I've been feeling the same. I was just too scared to say anything. Really? Oh, oh sorry. Didn't realise you were rehearsing. Why not? So, what are you doing then? So maybe it's all over me and you then? Seems to be, from what he was saying this morning. Well, that's a turnaround. Maybe miracles do happen after all. Yeah, well, he was actually the one who suggested you come to the hospital with me, if you're free and can get the time off work. Yeah, of course. I'll have a chat with Kevin Ty about making up the hours later on, but I'm sure they'll be fine. They're usually pretty good with it. Thanks. And what about your dad? What about him? Well, did you see him or talk to him when you got home last night? Nope. He's passed out drunk, snoring on the sofa, TV still blaring, neighbours banging on the walls, stoned off his head, the usual, you know. So much for lifting all that weave. All right. So you're not guarding, have you? Sorry? You will be if you're getting her involved in drugs. Well, he's not. He's just talking about a mate of his. Well, it's more of like an ex-mate, really. Is that right? Yeah, I swear. I'm not into that stuff and neither is Aaron. Right. Well, just keep it that way, OK? It's a total mugs game. I've had a few mates proper screw up their lives messing about with that sort of stuff. Right, I'll see you later. You? Look after her. And that's me, Tom. He's just a bit protective, that's all. A bit? You want to get a leash on him. All right, he's not that bad once you get to know him properly. Anyway, I best get to work or else Carla will be on my back. Yeah, me and all. I'll text you later about the appointment, yeah? Yeah, OK. So I'm guessing my mum doesn't know about this relationship or whatever it is you're calling it then? Ah, more companionship than anything else. And we've only just admitted that we care for each other. So nothing to do with the fact that she's going to go mad and her head's probably going to explode when she finds out. Well, might have been, in fact. Uh... Well, in her defence, I can't exactly blame her for not liking or trusting me. Well, she'll just have to get over it. Hmm? Good luck with that. She'll hear what she says when she talks about you. <laughs> actually, you probably shouldn't. Anyway, I'll leave you guys to it. And don't worry, I won't say anything. But you are going to have to tell her eventually. I'm fully aware of that. Good. And Grandad? Yes. I'll pray for you. Both of you. <laughs> oh, that was great, thank you. Everything all right, was it? Yeah, you make a better bacon bomb than right, but don't ever tell him I said that. I'll take it to my grave. <laughs> hey, I got your text. Hey. Black coffee. Thought you'd be more of a decaf, skinny soya mocha or whatever it is you have in LA. <laughs> no, I never went in for all of that. Still, I bet you miss it all, eh? All the glamour and the sunshine and the movie stars. Mm, trust me, it's nothing like that in real life. Which is actually why I'm not going back. And we've not told the firm I work for that yet. How come? I'm just not very good at letting people down. Hey, but don't mention it to anyone. I've not told my family either. Well, they're gonna find out sooner or later. Yeah, I'd just rather it was later. Anyway, now you're here, I actually need your signature. Just for those funds for the DNA testing. Mm, stuff it. 
What's wrong? I, mean, I bought the wrong form. Not to worry, I'll call in at your work later and get your signature then. Oh, no, you don't need to go to all that trouble. Just give me a ring when you found it and I'll come and meet you. Oh, yourself. You just stood there with everything hanging out on the oh, display. That has put me right off my lunch now. No, don't worry, there wasn't much to see, to be oh. honest. <laughs> no, to be fair to Tim, what? It was pretty cold Ooh, this morning. Little Tim. <laughs> Is he here? Who? Aaron. <laughs> no, sorry, mate, he's just popped to the shop. It won't be a sec. Anything I can help with? No, and I don't need your help. All right, he was only asking. What's he got to do with you? He's my partner. Commiserations. You what? What are you doing here? Where is it? Where's what? Don't mess me about, lad. I'm not playing with you. Where's me weed? Hmm? Now, I know you took it, so I'm going to ask you one more time. Where is it? Hmm? <laughs> I know that I shouldn't have taken the gear, Dad, and I'm sorry, I really am. Damn right, you'll be sorry when I finish with it. Now, you're gonna come with me right now, get some money out, and we're going home, and we're gonna sort this. I can't, I'm working. Are you arguing with me? Hey, go easy on him. Shut it, you. Hey, there's no need for that, mate. I'm not your mate. What are you gonna do about it anyway? That's what I thought. Look, I'm fine, honest, it's all good. Right, well, let's just leave it. What, Harry? What's going on? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Move. Now! He's going nowhere with you. Go and wait in the office. Hey, I'm his dad. Yeah, and you're drunk. I can smell it on you from here. So why don't you go home and sober up? Go on. See you later. Waste of space. You're unusually quiet, not that I'm complaining, but are you all right? I, uh, I'm just a bit worried about Dee Dee. Does she seem all right to you? Yeah, she seems fine to me. Why? Just been thinking she's not said much about her, her time in LA, nothing about her friends or her job. Well, I don't tell you much of what I'm getting up to at work, do I? You don't have to, love. I see you sat on your backside enough times to imagine. Hiya. Can I get you another drink? Uh, no, thanks. Um, no, I need to get him home in a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah? What are we doing? You promised to read her out the bathroom. Remember? How could I forget? Living the dream, eh? Tell me about it. Dare I ask what you think? I think the changes are wonderful. I think you've done a brilliant job and you've really fleshed out Mary's part. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. I hope she's as happy with the changes when she reads them. Ah, and here she is, prompt as ever. I, I thought it was just going to be the two of us working on the script, hence the phrase one-on-one. -on -one. I promise I'll be quiet. You won't even know I'm here. But you are here, aren't you? You're saying you want me to go? Mary, uh, no offence, but... Do you think you're overreacting just a little? No, I don't. OK, well, let's start again, shall we? Mary, can I get you a drink? I can get my own drink, thank you very much. You stay here. Have fun with Yoko. Aaron! Aaron! Uh, thanks for calling me. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just need to go check on Dad. Maybe you should just wait until he slept it off. No, no, it's when he's like this that he goes and gets in trouble. I'll be careful, I promise. I'll call you later. I hope he is going to be all right. That nutter looked like he was going to lamp him one. Looked like he was going to give you a clout, I know. No, he was just mouthing off. I wasn't worried. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Could practically hear your knees knocking. <laughs> <laughs> is his dad always like that? Uh, I, I don't know, I've never met him. Oh, well, I'd keep it like that if I were you, love. Right, should we go and get some lunch? Yeah. yeah. See you in a bit. Love. See ya. Okay, well, thank you for letting us know, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Yeah, bye. Dee Dee, what are you doing here? Well, I've got those papers for you to s
I said I'd come to you. I was passing anyway, so I thought I'd save you the journey. Mm, you shouldn't have. <laughs> well, I'm just going to take my break now. Oh, All right. Yeah. Hopped in for a quick bite to eat, have you? Dee Dee, grab a seat. I'll be right with you. Yeah, she's just come in for a chat. Oh, is that right? Between you and me, I think she's a bit lonely. She doesn't have very many friends around here. Anyway, enjoy your break. Nice one. Hi. Hey, okay. Table for two, please. Yep. You have to have a crack at ours when you've done those. Look like you've done a good job there. It's all in the wrist. Yeah, it's all I've heard. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you something, though. I might have to uh, look at branching out myself, the way business is going, get a second job. I mean, I've only had about half a dozen customers all morning. Don't know what's going on. Maybe I have to change my aftershave. Yeah, people, innit? The skin. I mean, same at our place. I won't mind, but it's flipping empty half the time, you know? And I ain't standing around doing nothing. There's only so many times you can sweep up, isn't there? Actually, I'm uh, due a haircut myself now you mention it, though I was toying with the idea of uh, growing it a tad longer. What do you reckon? Give it a go. Tell you what you could have. One of those bubble perms, you know, liven it up a bit. Really? Did you do those? Yeah, yeah. All the rage at the minute. Get one of them, you'll be down with the cool kids. Yeah. Maybe I'll uh, think about it. <laughs> right. Oh, I meant to ask, how's young Maximilian getting on these days? Keeping out of trouble, one hopes? Uh, yeah, he, he, he's doing all right at school and everything. He's keeping his head down, but... He's getting a bit of grief off some of the lads, you know, at the school, so I, I was going to have a word with his old deputy head at where they are and see if I could get him back in there. I, I don't want to rain in your parade, but I, I wouldn't get your hopes up. In my experience, exclusions are um, usually quite final, and the powers that be very rarely go back on decisions like that. Yeah, and I, I get all that, but like I said, you know, he's been working dead hard lately, and I do think he's really turned a corner, so... I just wondered if they'd give him, like, you know, a second chance, maybe have a punt on him. No, no well, of course, it's, it's got to be worth a try, I suppose, hasn't it? Yeah, so, uh, good luck. Yeah, yeah, ta. Gonna need it. Sal! Sally! We tried to ring you all day. Yeah, I know. So why are you ignoring me calls? Because I'm angry with you, Tim, that's why. Well, just let me explain. I get that you're angry with me. I am, very. So, unless you want to feel the sharp end of a cream horn, I'd jog on if I were you. Look, I didn't forget our anniversary, OK? Got you a present. Oh, let me guess. Some old tat you got in town after I left this morning. No, I got it the other day. Oh, Tim. That is beautiful. Just like you. I love you. I love you. Oh. Hey, sorry I'm late. No, don't be. I'm just glad you're here. You should be at the hospital. Yeah, I'll, I'll get another appointment. Besides, I was worried about you. Yeah, well, I'm more worried about my job. My dad had a right go off his entire and all. But you're not going to get fired. Like, it wasn't your fault. Well, yes, it was. I know what he's like when he's drunk and I still nicked his weed. We both made a mistake. There's no point beating yourself up about it. I don't need to. I got him for that. What? When I got home, he was still knocking back the booze. He used to still got me looks, eh? Here we are. Right, let's get these papers signed and then you can get off. Sure, let me just find them for you. No, that's not them. I'm not going this somewhere. Do you want me to look? It's all right. I've got um. I even remembered a pen for you. Right. So if you just sign there, there, and there. Is everything all right? <laughs> the pen's not working. Oh, let me just see if I've got another for you. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Are you still here? Yeah, I've just got some papers for Alia to sign. Oh, yeah, for what? Oh, it's nothing important. <laughs> I think Stu might disagree. What is this about his case? Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought you weren't working on that anymore. 
Who told you that? Where else did he hit you? Took a couple to the ribs, but they're not too bad. Not too bad? Aaron, this is physical abuse. You can't let him keep doing this to you. What if one day he really loses it and you end up in hospital or worse? It's not always this bad. It doesn't matter. Hello? It's Paul. Have you got a minute? Uh, now's not really a good time. Look, it won't take long. And I need to speak to you. Right, okay. It's Paul. Do you want me to go? No. No, it's fine. Right. I'm glad you're here, because of what word were you and all. Is everything all right? No, it's not. Fizz told me about what happened at the garage. Aaron's dad was angry about something, but it's sorted now. You mean about him stealing his weed? You said it was a mate of yours stuff, but it wasn't, was it? No. Has he been giving you drugs? No, it wasn't like that, and I only did it the once. It was only a bit of weed. Oh, yeah? What's it going to be next time? Speed, coke, ease. I'm going to go. Hey, I am finished with you yet. Hey, get your hands off me! I swear, if I find out you've given her any more drugs, you'll regret it. Oh, you waste of space! I'm talking God, to I you! I said get your hands off me! Sorry, I can explain. Well, if you needed any proof somehow, that was it. He's trouble. Just hear him out. Just hear him out. I'll show him out. With force if I have to. Stay the hell away from Summer. Aaron, just tell him. He was angry for a reason. This isn't what you think. Oh, it's exactly what I think. And if he can raise his hand to me, he can do it to you. But I won't let him. I'm so sorry. Aaron, this is a misunderstanding. He hit me, Summer. I think it's pretty clear. I need to go after him. What? No, you really don't. Hey! OK, so let me get this straight. Stu doesn't want any of this. You've been lying, and I've been left with a pointless mug. Literally mugged off. I was trying to help. Who are you trying to help? From what I can see, all you've been doing is lying. And maybe the charity could use the funds for someone who actually wants it. But Stu does want it. I'm sure he does. I thought we were going to be friends. We were. But we are. OK, pal. Well, as you may, I'd advise you to stop lying. As your solicitor, I'd also advise you to stop lying. Are you seeing the pattern here? Yes, I get it. But that doesn't change the fact that Stu is innocent and we might have the proof. We'll never know, will we? I'll contact the charity and tell them we don't need the funds. At least you get your mug back, eh? Yeah, my heart was in my mouth. You should have seen her. She was livid. It's a good job I had that necklace. Yeah, but you nearly did it, though. Yeah, I know. And seeing how she went off, I'd have been in dog ass for weeks. So thanks for all your help. Yeah, well, I was being selfish. If World War III had kicked off across the street, it would seriously disturb my peace. Oh, no, no, just about the anniversary, about everything. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> so I got you this, to say thank you. Oh, Tim, you didn't have to. Well, it's nothing compared to all the support you've given me. Hey, no, I can't accept this. Why not? It's the right one, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Well, then. Well, I'll, I'll probably forget your birthday and all. You know what I'm like with dates. Best give you something whilst I can remember, eh? I keep thinking about that poor lad. Like, he's not got enough on his plate with his diabetes. Sucking his dad's weed's not gonna help, is mm. it? Hey, Ty, you don't think Kev's gonna sack him, do you? No, no chance. I mean, look at all Abby's put him through. She's still employed. Mm. I reckon I could probably... Spitting his morning bacon, but he'll still be his business partner. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Tyrone, could you not have thought of a better example than that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Maximus the Minibus. Mad Max. Max you've had. Shut up. Is that your max volume? <laughs> it's a bit of an acne climax. You get your brain in your mouth at the same time, you know. See you, See you later. later. You said man can't move. Yeah. Hi, uh, Maria, you all right? All right, Max. <laughs> How's school? 
Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, how, how was your day? Oh, you know, same as usual, really. <laughs> um, what are you up to now? What are you asking me that for? Well, you know, just making conversation. Okay, well, I'm actually on my way to a children's home. I'm meeting a laddie, the counsellor helping as a refugee. You can come with me if you want. Um, do you know what? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting you to say yes to that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> Ooh, I was just about to text you. This one's turned up in a right state. It's not said a dicky bird. Thanks. Well, I'll leave you to it, but you should probably eat something, you know, keep your strength up. Yeah. You need to leave me alone. Paul's right on bad news. He doesn't know what you're going through. None of that is an excuse, Summer. I hit him. That was me. Everything going on with your dad, Aaron, it's not your fault. I've ruined everything. No, you haven't. Look, I know it's probably the last thing that you want to do, but you need to tell Billy and Paul what you told me. Right, they'll understand. Will <laughs> they? Because I don't. I've let you down. No, you haven't. But you need to trust me. You have to tell them the truth. I can't. Look, just, just, just come back to the flat. Wine for the leading lady. <clears throat> and half a pint for Coronation Street's original bard boy. <laughs> See what he did there? Very clever. <laughs> Oh, look at her, sucking up to Ken. I could just as well compliment him on his near-perfect use of pathos, but I won't demean myself. Yes, you hold your head up high so people can clearly hear the bad lines you get. Are you mocking me, Brian? Upset Ken and your character might not make it till act three. How is it fair that Wendy can suggest rewrites with the fluttering of her eyes and the intoxication of cheap perfume? It isn't on. Have you tried telling him you want Du Maurier lines and their Serrano lines, you wouldn't say? <laughs> it's, it, it, it's funny because we have hints of Rebecca and Bergerac. Oh, no, I got the pun. And I'm instantly grateful that you're not the one writing our play. How are we getting on, troops? Yeah. Are we ready to storm the Bastille of Brilliance? Huh? Ascend to... Can I just you... interrupt? Much as I do love your motivational alliteration. Um, I have an announcement to make. Due to circumstances beyond my control, I must resign my leading lady role. Oh, no. What a tragedy. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. I wouldn't leave if it wasn't for something very special and important to me. Well, then I guess we're up a certain creek without a certain paddle, aren't we? I, I don't think that counts as motivational editor. Well, are you going to have a Mardi on all day? Uh, yes, Zidane, I am. And might I remind you that you were the one begging me to get into all this in the first place. Spending cash I haven't got getting his case files. And we did something good, but there's not what we can do if he doesn't want to take it further. It's his names are clear. Yeah, but if we could just get that DNA tested, I'm sure Lucy's hiding something. Look, I'm as gutted as you, believe me, but it has to be Stu's choice. You said yourself. What about Gran in all of this? While everyone still thinks he's a murderer, this place will be a ghost town. Oh, oh so it's about saving speed, though. No, it's about Gran being able to be happy for once, to not have anything hanging over her head. But do you know what? Without Dee Dee, we're done. Stu will never have his name cleared, and Gran's always going to be tarred with the same brush. You could give me a hand, you know. Yeah, I could. Oh, what on earth? Dee Dee has gone and lost the remote. Well, have you looked down the side of the sofa? That's pretty. Oh, uh, no, I've had this for ages. It's nice. Mm. Hey, how do you fancy donating it to your favourite daughter? Hey, nice try, but no. <laughs> hey, uh, love, do you want 
Put the kettle on. I'll carry on looking here. Oh, it could be anywhere. I don't believe it. Oops. I'll give you oops in a minute. And what are you trying to half inch off your mum? Yeah, well, never mind that. Hey, love, get your coat. We'll go down to the calf for some quality mother and daughter time. Leave your dabs some peace and quiet. All right. Carnage. Hey, got your message. Give us quite a good. What happened? Aaron happened. Lamped me one. The kid's bad news. Why did he hit you? Probably high on drugs. I can't believe he talked Summer into trying him. And to think, she lied right to my face and all. But where are they now? He stormed out. She went after him. Hang about. I've just told you, Summer tried drugs. You knew, didn't you? I'm not happy about it. Right, we need to get him back here and we get everything sorted out. Well, there's nothing to sort out. I'm having him done for assault. Whatever it is that got you into that state, facing it on an empty stomach ain't gonna do you any good. This one's on me. Thanks. <sighs> That's like the fourth missed call from Billy. Paul must have told him. If we go back now, then you can explain. Not that I'm a loser, just like my dad. You are not a loser. <laughs> I'll tell him for you. I owe you that, at least. You don't owe me anything. But it's the right thing to do. Thought you'd be somewhere getting high. I'm sorry, Kevin. So you should be. Not about your dad. He was out of order, but about the weed. I expected more from you. I won't do it again. Yeah, unfortunately, I've heard that far too often. And it never seems to come true. It was a total one-off. Yeah, well, be sure it is. I can't have your dad coming round like that, and I can't have drugs anywhere near Abbey. Well, there's something you should I know. Promise I promise I won't let you down again. Good. Is everything OK? I don't see that we have any other choice. We'll have to postpone the performance. Oh, no, you can't. That would feel terrible. Where are we going to find a new leading lady at such short notice, huh? Well, there must be some other option. Or was your little play thingy in trouble? We've lost our leading lady. I don't suppose you fancy doing it, do you, Daisy? <laughs> you couldn't afford me. It's voluntary. Don't be using that kind of language in front of me, Brian. I'll get another round. Okay. Looks like this might take a while. Okay. <clears throat> I couldn't help noticing the wonderful Wendy was slipping you more than a passing glance, the subtext of which was that, um, Love might be in the air. Yes, but keep it quiet. My lips are sealed. Doesn't take Poirot to work it out. No, but we want to take it slowly. Only you and Amy know, and that's the way we want to keep it for now. Roger that. Your secret is safe with me. Oh. Where have you been? Paul is in a right state. I know. Aaron wants to talk to you about it. Me? I, I'm not the one he needs to apologise to. How could you hit him like that? Stop. Just, just... stop. Aaron, show him. It's, it's my dad. He, uh... He drinks, and then when he does... He sometimes hits me. Not sometimes. A lot. Why didn't you tell us? I was embarrassed. You got nothing to be embarrassed about. I can't leave him. He needs me. Without me as his carer, I don't know what will happen to him. You, you can't be somewhere unsafe. You're welcome to stay with us. Yeah, Billy's right. 
This can't carry on. And you've got us now. Yeah, of course you have. But you do need to tell Paul what you just told me. I just... I lost it. And I'm so sorry. It was... It was what he said. And, and the way that he said it, it's, he sounded just like my dad. And before I knew it, I'd, I'd hit him. Right. I need to go find him. Well, is everything all right? He said he was going to go to the police. He's fine. I will sort it, OK? Sorry to disturb. Have you got a minute? All right, well... I'll go and help your dad tidy up that living room. Look, I'm sorry about earlier. Well, it wasn't you that lied. Well, I was wondering if you might still send the mug off. Why would I do that? Well, Alia feels really bad, but she was trying to do the right thing. Oh, no. You're one of those who actually likes your siblings. Or you. Well, I'm no pushover, all right? I just think she had a point. Does she? Look, there's a killer out there on the loose, and we've got vital DNA evidence. Whatever happens, that should be looked at. <laughs> Look, I thought you were some hotshot lawyer, but clearly you couldn't even argue a parking ticket. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to sound all assertive. Oh, yeah, well, you missed. By a clear mile. There you are, we were worried. Why? I don't know, maybe because you should have been home hours ago, or maybe because you've not been answering any texts or calls. Well, relax, my phone died. Right, okay, well, you're gonna have to ring David off my phone because he's out looking for you. Oh, okay, well, anyway, me and Maria have just been to see a refugee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was with you? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I thought he would have called you and let you know. Well, he's pretty sound, actually. He's called Darian. <laughs> You voluntarily went and met refugees? No. <clears throat> a refugee, Darian, tried to keep up. All right, well... Yeah, that's good, I guess. No, no, I'm, I'm actually quite proud of you for that. Finally. Um, I'm actually going to see him again later, so... Oh, OK, well, um... You know, David was saying earlier, maybe we should get in touch with where they hide, you know, see if they'll let you back in. What do you think they would? Well, you've been keeping your head down. It's always worth asking, isn't it? Might have to lay on some of the old plot charm, though. <laughs> Plots have charm, do they? <laughs> oh, hi, Nancy. Thank you for taking my call. Do you get it? What? The appeal of amateur dramatics. Oh, I'm a married man, me. Love is all the drama I need. Mind you, I have to admit, when I took part in that naked charity calendar, five minutes of fame were a bit of a buzz. Mm. No, I guess you're right. They are similar. The bigger your part, the bigger the applause. Yeah. Let's get back to Sally. No luck, I'm afraid. Yeah, Nancy is doing a turn as Maria von Trapp, and Belinda is about to start at Oklahoma. Oh. Then we have the answer to Shakespeare's question. It was not to be. What about Mary? She's attended every rehearsal. She knows the play inside out. Yes. Yes, the, the show shall go on, and I will step up in my team's hour of need and assume the leading lady role, and, and I will take on this pressure for the good of the company. And there's no need to thank me, because I do it. I do it for the love of my craft. She does know all the lines. Well, that's half the battle. We would only need to recast her role, then. Which will be easier to do. Well, then I guess we have a new leading lady. Oh, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Break the leg. Right, now, as your principal, I say, drink up, because you'll need your rest for the next rehearsal. Ken, I have some notes. Would you like them in person or by email? File! Oh, yes. Oh, look, I'm so sorry. You're right, I shouldn't have lied to you. Brother's a bit odd, isn't he? Why? What did he do? Well, he tried to say I couldn't argue my way out of a parking ticket. I think he was trying to shame me into carrying on. Sorry. Well, it was worth it to see him squirm after. Yeah, he tries to act all confident, but... He needs to work on it. 
Although you are here, so... I take it you're here about Stu. Look, I can't continue unless you can get him to change his mind. I'd love to say I could, but he seems pretty certain that he just wants to forget about it. It's driving me mad. I feel like we're so close. Well, we could send off the mug anyway. Then if he does change his mind, at least we've got the results. You do that? For a friend, yeah. Oh, wait. You been to the station yet? I'm on my way now. I just had to get something for Gemma. But please don't. But Aaron's, um, he's just opened up about his dad and it's, it's bad. Paul, it's really bad. So? He still hit me. Just come back and talk to him. Look, I'm doing what's best for Summer. If he's capable of doing it once, he can do it to her. His dad is an alcoholic. He beats him up. Aaron's just a kid. You wanted to help Will when you thought he was in trouble. Well, I want to do the same for Aaron. And give him a police record. It's, it's not going to do him any favours. I know what he did was wrong, but just, just give the lad a chance. It's all I'm asking. Wow. What's brought all this on? Do you like it? I thought we were going to go too easy on cotton chips. Oh, not for my wonderful husband. We're having a, a three-course Italian meal. What, with fluffy cheese? Buffalo mozzarella, oh, yeah. Oh, what's brought all this on? You did. Cos it, it just meant so much to me that you got me such a thoughtful gift. And it's not been easy. There's been more downs than ups lately, but it showed me that you really care. Well, I love you, you know that. And I'll always give you the less bit of burnt toast. What are you crying for? Come here, you daft sausage. Oh, I love you, Mr. Metcalf. <laughs> I love you too. That was nice of Shona earlier. You do look a bit less peaky. You pumped thin. I can arrange it to another time. I'm so sorry, Paul. Can you uh, both give us a sack? Billy told me about your dad, about the drinking, and, you know. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Sounds like you've had it tough. Trust me, I've been there. For Summer's sake, I'm willing to take it on the chin, literally. Thank you. I promise nothing like that will ever happen again. It won't, as you won't be with her. Look, we all know how this ends. And it isn't happy ever after with Summer. As much as you have my sympathy, Summer can do better, way better. The best thing you can do is just walk away now before either of you get any closer. <laughs> I promise. I promise I would never hurt her. It's not about that, Aaron. She doesn't need your drama. She's had enough of her own. really love her, mate. You'll do the right thing and let her go. Times are tough in the bad chef's kitchen tonight over on ITV2 as there's two courses to crack. Don't miss the new series at nine or stay with us here as we head to Port Wen where the doc is working on his phobia. All new Doc Martin is next. <laughs>